Hello everybody and welcome to the 2022 NBA Draft where with the 7th pick, Portland Trailblazers on the clock. We just saw Benick Matherin go. <laughs> Shaden Sharp's on the board. Dyson Daniels on the board. We're not high on Dyson Daniels. We are sharp, high on Shaden Sharp. AJ Griffin. Where where do we feel like they go? They just they just traded for Jeremy Grant. So uh, AJ Green. AJ, did I have him take AJ Green? Uh, I, uh, let me see. Let me Keegan take Murray is what we had. Uh, Keegan draft. Murray is what we had. So Shane Sharp is the only one of our top seven players that's so still So the reason why I had him take Keegan Murray is because they didn't have a guy like Jeremy but Grant. But now they have Jeremy now Grant. They have Jeremy Grant. <laughs> so it doesn't so make sense. It seems clear that they're going to take a player like Dyson Daniels. We are not high on Dyson Daniels. I mean, hopefully he develops into something, but I think that you need to have the player right now with the highest floor that's available, because that's what Dame wants, right? I mean, who could they even take? I don't know if Shaden Sharp is realistic. I don't think you can take Shaden Sharp here. I think we're going for a floor over, yes. over, ceiling. over ceiling, and I would look more so at... Let me throw a name out there. Okay. Because I, we both think... I, I think Dyson Daniel is going to be picked. I think he's going to be the pick Personal. too. Like I, I just think defensively they want someone that can help Dave off the ball. Yeah, I agree. And if nothing else, we're, we're not high on Dice Nails, but defensively he's very, very good. Yeah, I agree. And he can create a little bit. Uh, it's just his shooting and stuff that is is, is lacking. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that that's a floor that's relatively high. Would wouldn't you say as yeah. far as like just yeah, a deep he, he plug in and play box. player? Yeah. Now another player I want to throw out here. I don't think they'll take him. Johnny Davis or Jeremy Sohan. Two guys who can defend, and then Johnny Davis obviously I think has to round out his game a little bit offensively, but those are two guys who I, in theory, could see working with the Blazers. I would say, in, in my eyes, if I was the Blazers and I was like, okay, well, Dame's going to be, we need to win now, more yes. so than, than later. I think that Johnny Davis fits that more because, one, he doesn't need to be uh, one guard. He can play off ball, and I feel like he has, he's a better shooter. Exactly. I think that that's what they need now. They don't need playmaking. You have Dame. You can get a a point guard in the draft or trade for one that's the backup point guard. You're not looking for the future right now, and I feel like a Dyson Daniels is a look to the future as opposed to But now. I thought you said he has a high floor. I think he has a high floor, but what's the ceiling? I thought you said it's floor over ceiling. Yes. NBA so go ahead, expand on that. Sorry. I want to make sure we're on the same page. I would say take Johnny Davis because I think the floors are similar in terms of how they can affect now. I agree. But I think that Johnny Davis has a higher, has a higher ceiling. We're both higher on Johnny Davis yeah, than Dyson Daniels. But I think Johnny Davis has a higher ceiling in the short term as well. Whereas Dyson Daniels, he's a player where I think he needs three years. And I don't think Dame has that time. With the seventh pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select... Shaden Sharp. Wow. Everything we just said just goes out the window. Let me talk. Yeah. Let me talk. Take it. Take it away. Let me take it. Let me take a drink. All right. Here we go, uh, Trailblazers fans. I have him number three on my board. We are at the seventh pick currently. So if nothing else, from a value perspective, I love this pick. Yeah. Absolutely love this pick. Now, I understand why he fell to the seventh spot. Um, because just like, I mean, everybody watched the same film, film that we watched, right? This isn't the craziest thing in the world. You don't have to be... Um, some sort of scout to watch this film you can go on YouTube Jaden Sharp did not play in college he did not play at Kentucky and when he had the chance to play in Kentucky he said no and chose to preserve his draft stock so for all those reasons I understand why he fell but damn it this dude can play yeah this dude is just this dude is different athletically he's already he's an NBA player um, his jumper I think will translate at, at high high level now again, we didn't see him in college, so we don't know. Maybe he, under pressure in different situations, it's going to take him time to adapt. And that's where we were talking about. The floor doesn't feel as high as those guys that we talked about. It might take him a year or two to come in and be like, all right, this is how I'm going to play off Dame. This is how I'm going to play without the ball in my hands. Because in high school, you watch him play in high school. I watched a good amount of his high school games, and it felt like he had the ball in his hands all the time. Yeah. Now, I think that's his upside, and that's why I love him, is because yeah. I think he can develop into that, you know, isolation score. That guy who can get to the rim, get to the free throw line. I love Shaden Sharp in that respect. I mean, look at this athleticism, man. Yeah. He's, he's a freak. He's a freak. Now, for all those reasons, I think his finishing, his shooting, his three-level score, awesome. We, we just need to see more. 
Yeah, we need to see he, him he play against better competition. He wasn't explosive as a creator a lot of times. He struggled in one-on-one -on -one situations uh, sometimes. I mean, like, you see here, like, yeah, he pushed off him. Like, yeah, yeah it's cool, yeah. but he didn't It's that first him. step question. He's not Jade and Ivy in that respect. Exactly. So that's where it's going to be interesting to see if he rounds out his game. But from a Damian Lillard perspective, do you like this pick? I don't. But this seems more like an insurance pick than yes. it does a floor pick. I think this is the, the question of, okay, well, if Dame doesn't want to be here, will we have Shane Sharp? Yeah, I also think not for nothing. This is they had probably had him very high on their board, and they're like, if he falls to this board, you're going to take him. Yeah, and, like, and there and, is nobody else on this board that is available to me that is close to Shaden Sharp. Johnny Davis, Dyson yeah, Dennis, no, from, I have from none a, from of these a ceiling guys. perspective. I have Shaden Sharp way higher yeah, than those. From guys. a ceiling perspective, absolutely not. And and like you said, it might have just been a case of we'll take Dyson Daniels if he's if, if Shaden Sharp's not there, but yeah. if Shaden Sharp's there, yeah, we get him. Exactly. So, uh, I think that's what that kind of pick this is. It's just the questions again. Playoffs next year. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, the so thing, we'll see. and that's why I threw out there Jeremy Sohan. That's why I threw out there John Davis because those are guys that I feel like instant translatable skills. Yeah, they have those translatable skills. Shane Sharp could, but we don't know. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the season saying, all right, Shane Sharp, mark him as a starter, mark him as a 14 point per game scorer. I can't do that. Yeah. I With agree. that being said. In four years, when we look back on this draft, I think he's a top three player in this draft. Oh yeah, and I, and I love, him. I completely, I love agree. that. So that therefore, I can't hate this pick. I like this pick a lot. Yeah, I agree.